Okay, okay. Yo, yo, yo. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. Today is Monday, the beginning of the week, so you already know the vibes. You already know what I gotta do for you guys. We back with another episode of This Week in Hype. This week, I'm not even gonna front with you guys. I was not going to make this video. There just isn't a lot of, you know, important information to know about. There is a bit of important information, but nothing, uh, you know, over the top. There's definitely not an overwhelming amount. So, uh, you know, I did end up making the video for you guys because there are some things that I feel like you guys should know about. So, uh, I do hope you guys enjoy the video i hope you guys take away some valuable information as always and of course i do hope you guys stay to the end because i would really hate for you guys to miss out on anything before i get into the actual topics before i get into all these releases i do have one thing to mention my group ugly gang 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 i do have my own cook group if you guys are not aware we've been cooking over there crazy a lot of great information we're about to turn it into a premium cook group very very soon so please go join up asap we're about to throw in some really nice monitors probably the fastest monitors on the market so you guys never miss out on a release I'm also going to have a lot of really nice information when it comes to like different jobs like Funkos I know a lot of you guys like collect like the Funkos out there so there's gonna be some nice uh, you know information on that as well there's already a ton of early link information there's a ton of raffle information just a whole bunch of stuff a hub for pretty much everything you need to know when it comes to this community so please join up ASAP if you do want to join go follow me on Instagram subscribe to the channel below and swing me a DM with proof you are subscribed and I will swing you guys an invite it will be $20 a month to join very very soon I'm planning on doing it probably by the end of this week but in the meantime if you guys want to join go ahead and do that but enough of that stuff let's get into the actual video enough of those plugs welcome to another episode of this week in hype all right guys you should already know how we kick things off on this side let's pop this off with a weekend recap this past weekend or more like a week because it feels like it's been a minute since I've given you guys one of these episodes um there have been a couple of notable releases though um one of them being the air jordan 3 uncs personally once again i was not a fan of that sneaker so i went ahead and passed on it i do see that a lot of people are feeling that sneaker and that it was a bit more limited than most people expected it did sell out pretty quickly and the resale market is looking like it's uh you know appreciating it pretty well so i hope that you guys did not sleep if you were in need of that sneaker or if you wanted it um because it's probably not going to be easy to get anymore but um once again shout out to you guys if you did pick it up pretty nice sneaker but in my opinion i had to pass on that but lastly, another sneaker that we saw released this past week was the Yeezy Boost 380 Mist Reflectives. I actually have a pair of those here. I uh, was fortunate enough to hit on a pair. My business partner hit on three pairs, which is pretty insane. I will be dropping a review for you guys for these very, very soon. Probably like Tuesday or Wednesday this week. I'm not really sure when, but I'm definitely expecting it because it's definitely coming. In my opinion, the shoe is pretty decent. The resale market isn't really, uh, you know, holding up like I thought it would, especially for the first reflective 380 out there. Um, I thought it would be performing a lot better. Nonetheless, you can still make some bucks over it. Um, but in my opinion, the sneaker is pretty decent. It's not better than the Alien pair, but um, not a bad looking sneaker. If you guys are feeling the sneaker, I hope that you guys were able to pick one of those up. But enough of that stuff, let's get into some upcoming releases. I wanted to kick things off with uh, some sneakers that are coming out very, very soon. One of those sneakers being the Nike Dunk Low Kentucky. Actually, I'm just going to lump these two together because they're very similar. Um, I'm talking about the Nike Dunk Low Kentucky and the Syracuse. Both of them come out on the 14th of March, retailing 100 bucks. In my opinion, you can definitely not go wrong with picking up any of those. If you want them for personal, they're fire for the spring and for the summer. Definitely a nice look with a lot of different outfits. If you guys want them to flip, they're definitely going to be doing some pretty good numbers especially considering the low retail so i would definitely recommend not sleeping on those also on the 14th we have a pair of the safari dunk lows as well um a really nice month for dunk lows um those are going to be extremely hard to grab i don't see a lot of places getting them i have seen a couple of raffles floating around out there but definitely uh you know not what we're used to seeing from uh, you know different sneakers so i would say do not sleep on these either they're going to flip really nicely so resellers are going to be out 
out here. Also, a lot of people are filling these for personal. So uh, yeah, that's definitely a recipe for disaster if you ask me. But good luck to you guys if you want any of those. Also on the 14th, a really, really packed day on the 14th, we have the Yeezy Boost 350 Desert Sages dropping as well. Um, I heard that there's going to be a lot of pairs out there, close to 100K in stock, which would make it almost a GR in my opinion. Um, regardless, if you guys are selling that sneaker, I would definitely not recommend sleeping from what I saw on Twitter and from what I saw just online in general. The reception is there. The demand seems to be there as well. A lot of people seem to be wanting these for personal. So um, if you guys are not looking to flip, maybe uh, you know not everything is about making money. If you like them, definitely just go out and cop them. Do not sleep on them because I would hate for you guys to miss out on a pair. But um, in my opinion, the sneaker is pretty decent. Do I need it for personal? Definitely not. Am I going to go for it for resale? Maybe in some base sizes because I do think that base sizes in this specific model is going to do better than past models. But um, to be honest, I'm not too excited. So uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to go after them, but uh, most likely I'll just stick to base sizes. But moving on, we do have a new Nike Adapt model. They're calling this the Nike Adapt LE 1.0. This looks like it's a Air Max 720 upper with a super humongous, you know, midsole and outsole. In my opinion, I feel like Nike needs to slow down just a little bit with the React technology. One, it's just not that appealing to most people, especially for me. I'm not really a big fan of them. And two, they're just a little bit too expensive for most people to afford consistently. This one is probably going to retail for around the same, like 400 bucks. And personally, I'm not selling out $400 to, uh, you know, have some self lacing sneakers every other week so personally I'm probably going to pass on these in my opinion they're not even that appealing either the sole is extremely humongous this is probably gonna add like at least three inches of height to anybody who's wearing them which is crazy like we're wearing some elevator sneakers or some shit I'm not really sure um, the colorway is not terrible like that orange is not bad the upper being all gray all little you know a little too monotone for me but um it's not a terrible looking sneaker if you guys are selling those I guess you guys can look forward to that there's no concrete release date right now and there's also no official uh, you know price on it but um I would say that it's probably going to retail for around $400 and it's probably going to release sometime in the spring but that is that let's move on to a new model by Jordan Brand and Melody Asani they're collaborating on the Jordan woman shoe in my opinion this sneaker does not live up to the hype that the previous collaboration between the two did um, the fearless Jordan one mid if you guys remember Remember that one this sneaker is not terrible the colorway is pretty dope uh, I'm just not a huge fan of the silhouette that they chose I know that this sneaker is not really targeted to my demographic but um if you guys are feeling the sneaker it's probably going to be a pretty limited sneaker if you ask me um being that it is collaboration between her and uh, you know Jordan brand I'm pretty sure that is not going to be widely available um this sneaker once again is a woman's sneaker so it probably won't even be you know available in extended sizes I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be um so if you guys are feeling the sneaker if you women out there are feeling the sneaker I would definitely not recommend sleeping on it. It's a pretty dope looking sneaker, but it's just not specifically for me. So I'm personally gonna have to pass on that. At the moment, we do not have a set release date for it. It's probably going to release sometime very, very soon, but I would recommend you guys follow her on Instagram or on Twitter and just wait for more information when it comes out on those. But moving on, we do have a new collaboration between Amy Leon Dory and New Balance. They're collaborating on a New Balance 827. In my opinion, from what I saw, there's supposed to be two colorways is a predominantly white colorway and there's a mostly black colorway in my opinion the shoe is pretty dope I'm not really sure if I'm going to go after it because knowing the two brands they're probably going to be pretty expensive but I will say that the white pair is super super clean it's kind of like a whole multicolored vibe which is super super dope um, personally if I can get my hands on it if the retail is not too you know high if it's not out of this world I'll probably go ahead and scoop a pair judging by the old a million Dory collaboration they are probably going to resell so I would say definitely do not sleep if you are interested in them in my opinion the sneaker is dope and it's probably going to be pretty limited so please do not sleep if you guys are filling those we do not have a set release date on those either I'm pretty sure it is going to release sometime in the spring because it does have a whole spring vibe but um, yeah I would say stay tuned for more information when it comes to those but let's move on to some big trash of the week my favorite segment we do have two stories to cover one of them being this new balance destroyed I'm not even sure what the fuck to call it this sneaker looks like it's a complete arts and craft project by a two-year-old I'm not really sure what the hell they were going when they uh, you know made this whole design this whole concepts from what I heard this was only like the marketing strategy this wasn't the actual sneaker that you would wear 
um, which definitely saved it because this is definitely one of the worst sneakers that I've probably ever seen in my life. It's not even a sneaker. I kind of hesitate to call it a sneaker. It's definitely unfinished and it was going for that vibe from what I read. Regardless, I hope that no sneaker company ever comes up with something like this because this is definitely not it. This kind of gives me like some homeless man vibes. I'm not really sure. It just... I don't know, this shit is just not it if you ask me. But moving on, I did have to throw these on the list. I got a ton of DMs with these, uh, you know, just ridiculous boots, ridiculous, just astronaut. I'm not even sure what the hell to call it. I'm talking about the Yeezy Season 8 boots. These shit is crazy. These shit's gotta go. These shit's gotta get burned ASAP. These sneakers legit look like a camping bag, like a sleeping bag. That second pair there, the one right behind the orange or the yellow pair, it really looks like I can just hop in it and just go ahead and get cozy in there. Shit is just ridiculous, man. I don't know what Easy is thinking when it comes to the clogs, when it comes to these shits, when it comes to just all of these ridiculous stuff that he's coming up with. I just feel like that man has too much money at his disposal. Maybe he should swing some my way. I'll help you out. Please, Easy, just hit me up. But uh, yeah, these shits. Not it at all. But if you guys are feeling those, if you guys have any thoughts, any opinions, let me know in the comment section below. Crazy trash, man. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's move on to some more upcoming releases, some more fire. We have a new Nike SB Dunk High, a Strawberry Cough, I believe is what they're calling it. For all you 420 heads out there, for all you smokers, this sneaker is for you guys. This sneaker is pretty dope. It has like a whole, uh, you know, strawberry. I'm pretty sure Strawberry Cough is probably like a marijuana strain. The translucent outsole is pretty dope in my opinion. Also, the custom insole, also really, really fire. That whole, you know, red suede upper is also super, super dope. And also like that touch on the back, the little strawberry cough sign, also really, really dope. Back again, SB with these whole, you know, customized, all these uh, very unique takes on SBs. Very, very, very dope if you ask me. Definitely SBs are making a come up. So uh, if you guys are feeling these, another SB to add to your collection perhaps. But um, yeah, I like them. I'll probably go after them. It'll probably be really, really limited and getting SBs out here is definitely not easy. So uh, yeah, definitely do not sleep if you guys are interested in those. But moving on, we do have some easy news to discuss. As always, there is no This Week in Hype without discussing some Yeezys. This week we have four stories to discuss, so strap in and get ready. One story we have is the Yeezy Boost 350 Cinders that are releasing on the 21st of March. This sneaker, in my opinion, is a sneaker to go for this month if you are looking to flip some Yeezys. This sneaker will probably do some pretty good numbers considering a lot of people like to have all black Yeezys and this one having a gum out so only increases the value for that as well. I think that a lot of people are going to be filling the sneaker. I do not think it's going to be as available as previous models. This sneaker, in my opinion, is the one to go for for sure. It's also nice to have a personal. Um, in my opinion, I'm going to go after it. I definitely am not going to sleep. I think that these are going to be really, really profitable. So uh, yeah, if you guys are filling these, definitely do not sleep on those either. Another Yeezy that we got to talk about are the Yeezy 350 Boost Zions. We are supposed to be getting these sometime in the summer. In in my opinion, these are pretty ass. I don't like them at all. I have seen some people say that they look like turtle doves. In my opinion, they're very, very far from turtle doves. In fact, don't even disrespect the turtle doves comparing these shits to them. Um, we do have a couple of better pictures, but in my opinion, these are still pretty trash. They were very close to making the big trash of the week, to be honest. Um, again, if you guys need more 350s, I don't think there's anybody out there that does, but if you do, I guess you guys can look forward to this one. I'm personally going to pass on these. I don't even need to see them in person, but um, yeah, another easy to look forward to if you guys want to. Another easy that we gotta talk about are these clogs. We just saw a new colorway surface of them. I believe ASAP Ferg was uh, you know, seen holding them. There are the red pair. In my opinion, those are ass too. I was definitely also really, really close to just throwing a bunch of Yeezys on Big Trash of the Week. Um, again, these are probably going to come out sometime in the spring, sometime, uh, you know, before the spring. They're supposed to retail for 75 bucks, which I cannot complain about. $75 is not a bad price. If you guys are filling these, if you guys want a whole Yeezy Croc 
looking thing i'm not even sure what to call it i guess you guys can look forward to this personally i'm definitely going to skip out on it i have no intentions on picking up a pair but uh maybe for a review if you guys want to just drop a like below let me know if you guys do want me to review those but yeah i guess another easy that you guys can look forward to if you want to but let's move on to this last easy story one that i'm actually am excited for we saw him wearing at the paris fashion week a new yeezy model i believe they're calling this the yeezy 451 in my my opinion i actually do like this sneaker i like the whole unique vibe that it has to it um we definitely have never seen an outsole or a midsole that looks anything like this so personally i like when i see something like that i like when he uses his creativity to push the envelope forward when it comes to sneakers um personally i would love to get my hands on the sneaker we have no idea when it's coming out we have no idea the price on it we have no idea if uh, you know that colorway is the colorway that's going to be released to the public but um personally again i am definitely looking forward to that sneaker i like the way it looks in my opinion it's just an overall pretty dope looking sneaker so i guess sign me up when those actually do release but that is that for easy news let's move on to some off-white news we did see a new air jordan 4 model leak over the week um this i believe is a women's exclusive it's like a whole cream pair in my opinion this sneaker is super super fire i don't care if it's a women's exclusive i will definitely be going after the sneaker pretty sure that uh you know they're going to cut it off at the 12 uh you know women's size which converts to a 10 and a half which means that i'm valid for this release i really hope that i can pick up a pair um i probably will be selling it if i do get a pair but if i end up getting a pair in my size i will definitely take those to the feet in my opinion this sneaker is super super fire it kind of reminds me of the eu exclusive air jordan one the all white one i definitely want this sneaker i love fours i love this color i love everything about it so uh yeah i'm definitely going to have to try and get myself a pair but we don't know when this thing is going to be released we don't know uh, if this is actually going to be released for all we know it can end up being a friends and family exclusive but um yeah i really do hope that it releases because i would definitely like a pair of those but that is that let's move on to the last story that i got for you guys the air jordan one diors we have some official release info for those um there's a total of nine places getting them worldwide which is insanely limited they're also limited to only 8,500 pairs and they're numbered at that which means the price just went up um, the price, as all should know, is two thousand dollars. Two racks, two stacks, two smacks. Even I don't even know. Um, again, I want a pair of these, not for myself to flip, because you can definitely put like a down payment on a house with this. Um, in my opinion, everybody and their mom. If you live in New York, if you live in LA, if you live in any of the cities on this picture that are getting them, do not sleep. Even if you cannot afford to wear two thousand dollar pair of sneakers try to get them so you can flip them because that's definitely a huge paycheck um as far as the actual release info i want to look at the picture because i definitely cannot you know memorize all the details um it's a pretty confusing uh you know release method there are two lotteries for these sneakers there's also the low as well also included in this whole uh, you know procedure um the first lottery begins on the 23rd of march and goes to the 24th i believe that that's only if you live by the store so new york la and any of the other countries that are getting them you will be notified on the 6th of April if you do win a pair. The second lottery is to be notified if you are able to secure a pair of the lows. That lottery begins at the end of May to the beginning of June. Sometime between that range, the date is yet to be confirmed. You are going to be notified at a date that's also to be decided. I'm assuming that when they drop the date for the uh, you know beginning of the lottery, they're also going to drop the date for when you are going to be announced. Um, again, I would say good luck to everybody who's going for these pairs. Definitely a big, big W if if you are able to secure a pair but that is that for sneakers let's move on to streetwear news we do have a huge huge week when it comes to supreme we are getting a tnf collaboration once again this collaboration in my opinion is pretty dope i know that there's some pieces on this collaboration that a lot of people are not feeling um personally i'm only a fan of the fleece and the jackets i don't know why a lot of people are trashing the jackets i know that it has like a whole removable vest and probably going to be pretty expensive as well for that reason but um in my opinion the colorway is fire i love like the whole look to it i hated when supreme does this whole you know super loud design on tnfs i like my tnfs to be pretty uh, you know simple and uh you know just very toned down this 
this one, in my opinion, if I can get it for personal, I would definitely keep it if it's not expensive either. The fleece is definitely the way to go if you ask me. All the colorways are fire. The pink one, the green one, the black one, all of them are just super, super fire. I love like the whole neon look to them. But yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see how that goes this week. Good luck to you guys if you guys are going for any of the pieces. It's definitely going to be, uh, you know, a pretty hectic release. So uh, yeah, wish you guys the best of luck. But that is that for this week in hype. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like for your boy, comment your thoughts, and please subscribe to the channel. It'll definitely be appreciated. Once again, if you guys want to cook up with the boy, please go join up on my Discord. I promise you guys will not be disappointed in that. Please go follow me on Instagram. Shoot me a DM with proof you are subscribed, and I will swing you guys an invite. But that is it, homies. I appreciate you guys as always. Until next time, peace.